What is a nation by three main issues? We shall say common language, we shall say common future, and most important, common roots. The roots of Israel start exactly in the area that you are touring today. And nation without roots, I told you before, it's not a nation. So this is the main importance. Did you understand? Yes. Sure, to mount the regime and not to mount Iban to another mountain which we call Mount of Abraham. Why Mount of Abraham? When you stand on the top of this mount, you look to the north, you can see the northern border of Israel. You look to the east, you can see the Jordan Valley. You look to the west, just is the Mediterranean. And what one will have Israel have to do? Just to take the first book of Moses, Genesis, chapter 12, and there is a meeting between God to Abraham. And what God told Abraham, look to the north, look to the east, look to the west, this is your promised land. created the whole world. At this time, Abraham was the only person who believed in one God, in God. All the people believed in a lot of gods. And Abraham uh, grew up, he married Sarah, and one day uh, God said to uh, Abraham, Abraham, leave everything, and it's written in the uh, Bereshit, in Genesis. Uh, it's written, Abraham, leave everything, leave your bird land, leave your fatherland, leave everything what you know, and uh, you have to go. God doesn't say to Abraham where he needs to go, because uh, he wanted to test him how much, no, no, I mean, uh, how much he believes in him. And uh, it's very easy to, uh, to go somewhere where you know where you're going to. And it's difficult to go where you don't know where you're going to. But Abraham doesn't uh, have questions to God. He takes Sarah and Lot, his nephews, and they went away. They walk, 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 until God said to him, stop. Stop, it was here where you are standing in Elon Moray. It's waiting. Uh, he came here to Elon More to Shechem. Shechem is there. We will go up uh, downstairs and you will see. And then he went, he came here and uh, God said to him, uh, look around you. What you see will be from you. This country, what you see will be belong to you and to the children that will be uh, coming after you. This is Elon More. Elon More, every time when we have permission to build, we are building, so we don't have any plans of uh, how it will be look. And it looks like this. The Lord appeared unto Abraham and said unto thy seed, unto thy seed will I give this land, and there, so, there he built, it, and built an altar unto the Lord who appeared unto him. And he removed from thence and unto a mountain on the east of Bethel, and pitched his tent having Bethel on the west and high on the east, and there he built an altar on, unto the Lord, and called unto the name of the Lord. And Abraham journeyed, going on still to, toward the south. What I feel here is that we need to pray. We need to speak a blessing upon Israel. And as we speak a blessing upon Israel, like uh, I was just reading here, Mount uh, Gerasim is on that side, and Mount Abel is on, Ebal is on this side. Uh, mount of cursing and the mount of blessing. There's two mountains here. So we need to uh, take our place from the mount of Abel. Maybe we had lived under some curses. But God is delivering us to the mount of blessing for our people as well. We'll take them. There'll be a transition from the mount of Abel to the mount of Gershim. That's what I see in my spirit. So let's pray as we bless Israel. 
our people, wherever we come from, will be blessed as well. So let's pray. Father, we come to you in this sacred place, the roots of the land of Israel, the roots of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And Lord God, we just ask you for a blessing. As we bless Israel, Lord God, you said in Genesis 12, 3, that whoever blesses you will be blessed, and whoever curses you will be cursed. And Lord God, we just uh, remove the curse from our people, wherever we're from. Lord God, and we take them from Mount Ebal. We take them to Mount Gerizim, Lord God. Right now, we pray in your name. And God, I thank you for this time. And as we bless Israel, we stand with Israel from all over the world, with our indigenous brothers, Lord God, from the South Pacific, and also um, from Europe, Lord God, represent, represented here, Lord, we thank you. And also from our nation, uh, Canada and Greenland, Lord God, we thank you and we, we pray that a special blessing oh, as we bless amen. Israel today. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Uh, I said we have a lot of place in this country. Uh, we not, uh, are not living with hate. We are living because we believe that this is our place to live. And uh, we are living with, uh, how do you say, with good feelings. We want to build, we want to, to, to have big families. And uh, we hope that one day uh, also the neighbors will understand that. And uh, as you see, we can live together without any problems. There is a lot of uh, place. Because I know that uh, down outside, uh, sometimes television uh, so, uh, shows something else.
I'll say, I, I was first in this hotel in the year 2000, uh, in October, when we came for the Feast of Tabernacles. We had a Inuit tour here then. And so all these things have happened since, since we first came here. And so we have walked the journey together. We've heard this story, but every time we hear the story, we know it's because of your faith in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that has preserved you alive and has enabled you to get your roots down even deeper. So uh, we just honor you, and uh, we are uh, going to make special requests every time we come back. We're going to come to this place. Mm -hmm.